Hello, this is question one from the summer 2020 Cambridge International Exams paper 1-1. You can find a link to the image of this question in the description below and I recommend that you try it before watching the solution. The questions about an arithmetic progression, they tell us the sum of the first nine terms, which I've written here as S9, is equal to 117. But then they told us the sum of the next four terms is 91. So we need a way to turn that into maths. In fact, we need a way to turn this into maths, but we have that. We're going to use the formula for arithmetic progressions, the sum of arithmetic progressions. Sn is equal to n divided by 2 multiplied by 2 times a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. So this is something we know. Using this, I can actually turn this into an equation. But before we get to that, we'll see this in a moment. I need a way to write this 91. I need to get that involved in the answer. Because what they're looking for ultimately is a and d, the first term and the common difference. So we're going to use this formula, like I said, um, equal it to 117. We know, we'll know what n is, n is 9, and we're, we're left with just a and d. So we need one more piece of information. So that's these next four terms. And let me write down what the next four terms are. Uh, we want t10, t11, t12, and t13. Now that's, uh, I find that useful because sometimes people say next four terms, they end up with the wrong number or so. I, when it's a small number, I like to be real simple about it. So T13, these, what do these four add up to? And we know what the previous nine add up to. Because all, all of these down here are S9. So here's the trick, and it is a bit of a trick for question one, to be honest. The sum of all of these, the first term, second, third, fourth, all the way up here, is actually S, um, let's say, 13. And that we can get a formula for. We can get a formula for. And S13 must then equal to S9 plus these four. So S13 must equal to 117 plus 91. So S13 must equal, uh, let's see, what is that, 208. So what we have is S13 and S9, and this is a more of a common question that you will see a lot in your exams. When they've given you two terms or two sums, we can use this information to solve it. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, S13, if I fill it into this formula, I get S13 is equal, let's see, N is 13, so 13 divided by 2, Two, we don't know what a is, we know what n is here, 13, 13 minus 1 is 12, I'll save myself a little bit of work here, and let's clean this up a bit, uh, let's see, 2 divides into everything, so we're left with 13 um, a plus 60, and we'll clean this up a bit more, 13 a plus, let's see, 60, uh, 78 use a calculator for things like that if you're if you're not good at doing it in your head so s13 equals this and we also know s13 equals 208 so what this is going to start to look like is a simultaneous equation we've got one part of it let's get the other part of it just do the same thing s9 is equal to 9 divided by 2 that's just n here n is 9 now and multiply by 2, we still don't know what A is, and um, let's see, 9 minus 1 is 8, and we still don't know what D is. Let's clean this up, I'll be a bit faster this time. Uh, 2 divides in, 9 multiplies in, we get 9A. 2 divides in, we get 4. 9 multiplies in, we get 36. 36D, and we know that S9 equals 117. So let me write this guy again, 13A, plus 78d equals 208. This is a simple, a simple simultaneous equation. Um, in, in fact, we can make it a little easier. At uh, the top row, um, everything divides by nine. Nine goes in, nine goes in, and yes, nine does go in. Bottom row, I, I've done it already, so I happen to know this, but I needed a calculator to check. 13 goes into everything, 13 goes into this, uh, 13 goes into this 6 times, and 13 goes into this 16 times. So let's uh, do that. Top row will divide by 9. We get A plus 4D 
equals 13. And the bottom row divides by 13. A plus, um, what did I say, 6D equals 16. Again, an even easier simultaneous equation. Let's go ahead and take the bottom row away from the top row. A minus A is nothing. Uh, actually, let's do it the other way around to get positive numbers. Bottom row minus the top row. So A minus A is still nothing. 6D minus 4D is 2D. 16 minus 13 is equal to 3. So D must equal 3 divided by 2, or 1 and a half. Now, to get A, just use whichever line you want. I'll use the top line here. A, must, a plus, I mean, um, 4 times 3 over 2. We know what D is, remember? We just found what it is, so put it in. Um, and that equals 13. So A, um, let's see, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. So A must equal 13 minus 6. This is brought over and taken away. So A must equal seven. That's our answers. A equals seven, D equals three over two. Um, a bit of a trick at the start, which is a bit nasty of them because if you don't get this trick at the start, you might not answer the whole thing. But everything from this point, if you figured out that S13 was this and S9 was this, this is very standard. They do this very often. We need to realize how to do that. This, take a bit more practice, a bit more um, intelligence, and um, it's a trick. It's a trick that you need to be able to see and solve. Um, do lots of practice on, on sequence and series questions. Lots of different things like this will come up regularly over the years. Okay, I hope that uh, solved, um, answered everything for you. If you do have extra questions, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.